Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Beam Backup, Backup and Replication version 12 tips and tricks. In today's installment I wanted to talk about making a backup of your domain controller. As you can see I have two domain controllers, one master domain controller and the second is a slave and is a read only domain controller. And I would like to actually back up the first domain controller using Beam, of course. So we're gonna go to our Beam, and here we're gonna go to Inventory, Physical Infrastructure, and we're gonna pick Create Protection Group. And here I'm gonna name it DC Group. Here we have a couple of options that we can actually use creating uh, the group because with this uh, protective group you can create groups of uh, Linux servers, different kind of servers, uh, of course domain controllers and so on and so on. I'm going to pick of course here Microsoft Active Directory objects because we are going to be making a special Active Directory protection group. Here I'm going to change it, so as you can see I have my domain controller and of course the account main administrator account to validate this. Okay, let's, uh, let's add, we're going to go to the main tree, we're going to go to the main controllers and from here I'm going to pick, well, both domain controllers. Exclude. Uh, what we can exclude from here? All virtual machines, all computers that have been offline for 30 days, the following objects. So I'm not gonna pick any of those for now. We got our credentials here. We got the two objects uh, added. Let's test now. Let's see. Okay, so the credentials have passed without any problems. And now we can commence. Uh, okay, so discovery, risk and protection group. So basically what does, if, if we actually set this up, then the protection group is going to be checking if another domain controller have, uh, has appeared in our infrastructure. So for instance, if you add a third domain controller, thanks to those rescans, this third domain controller can be automatically added to this crea created mm, protection uh, group. Uh, so, so you have, so you can basically have like automatically added uh, domain controllers to your group. Okay, deploying it. Distribution server. Of course, our Beam server is distributing and installing a backup agent. Uh, auto update backup agent and plugins. Yeah, perform a reboot automatically if required. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's go to advanced agent of Windows. What do we have? We can limit the bandwidth consumption. So, as you can see, we can limit this. Restrict meter connection usage, restrict VPN connection, restrict Wi-Fi usage to these networks. We can also pick the networks if we wish. Security allow a five-level recovery without any restrict of account. Okay, so these are the advanced options that you can actually choose here. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's go with next. And our DC group was successfully saved and created. So now it's rescanning. So here is our DC group. So the first one has been successfully scanned. So the backup agent is already reinstalled.
you can see now we are installing the package transport because it's going to be installing different kind of packages in my VC02. I'm going to pause it for now and I'm going to go back when it's all done. Okay, so the processing has finished. So basically now if we go to our VC group, we have our two domain controllers online with backup agents installed and now we can commence with of course backing up our VC. So we are planning to back up our first VC. So as you can see there are of course different options here. Here you can install plugin, uninstall agent, install CVT driver, remove from configuration, uninstall everything, details, uh, rescan, you can do different kind of stuff. We can actually create a backup job for this server. And let's just call it DC01. Okay. And well, what we can do here, we can backup entire computer and including external USB drives, volume level backup backup images of specific volumes, for example only data volumes, or the file level backup, which is a slower, and backup selected files and directories only. So I'm gonna choose entire computer. I'm go here I'm gonna use this my uh, this basic backup repository. Let's go to advanced, create synthetic flow backups per periodically on Saturday, maintenance, perform backup file check. Let's do it on Sunday. Storage, compression level is going to be extreme. Enable the application our processing that I'm going to leave. Applications, because we have here a SQL database. And now we're going to apply and we're going to run the job immediately. If we go to home, So here's our backup job for our domain controller. But as you can see, it already started. It's gonna probably take some time because the domain controller is quite large. I'm just gonna pause the video for now and I'm gonna check check it later on. Okay everyone, so as you can see the backup is almost completed, 99%, collecting recovery media files and finalizing. So basically this is how you can actually make a backup of your DC or backups of your domain controllers if you wish. As always, if you liked the video, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.